Welcome to oh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Swan Linux SH Diana. I'm Chris. I'm Ricky. And we have Cruise Report and we've been doing this for about 20 years and today we're going to tell you a little bit about our cruise on SH Diana in Costa Rica. In Costa Rica. from Swan Hellenic, SH Diana. We are on board. This is our, I guess our first full day. We got on board yesterday. It seems like we've been on longer than that, doesn't it? No. Uh, we left the hotel yesterday about one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, they had a bus, uh, actually two buses. What were there 55 people, I think? 60s, 55 or 60 uh, people? They're 30 on our bus. The ship's not full. Uh, I think there's, a, what, 100? 104. 104 people, and the ship holds 194, so it's just a little over half full. And we had two buses with about 30 f people on each bus. Some people had private transfers from the airport, so uh, you know we didn't have to wait for them. This is just people going from the hotel. And bus ride's about two hours long. Not bad. Not too bad. A lot of traffic, but not not as bad as it used to be. They've built a new highway. Highway going, 27. Highway 27 going from San Jose down to Punta Arenas, which is one of the ports, which is where the cruise ships usually leave from. There's also Puerto Caldera, which is more of a freight, I think, commercial port. We, get, we went by that. Cargo. Cargo, but we got to the ship about um, three o'clock, which is what they, anticipated yeah but then we had to wait for the dogs to sniff yeah. the luggage so that was that new. delayed things a little bit but and this was a different a different pier from where we've yeah. left previously we've been here a couple of times and this is a whole different area we've never been to right but yeah they had the drug sniffing dogs come and they had to check all the luggage before on the, on the bus before they let the bus go through up to the ship Pretty windy when we got here. <laughs> Seas a little choppy, uh, but we boarded the ship. I was on oh, beautiful ship. Yeah, it's a really pretty ship. It's a small ship. Only holds 194 people, and I think 140 or 30. What is it, crew? It's quite a bit. The ratio is good. A very, very high uh, crew to guest ratio. We boarded the ship about three o'clock. Our staterooms were ready. Uh, yeah. We were very uh, pleasantly surprised to learn that we had been upgraded to a junior suite. We originally had a balcony suite. Uh, I mean, the room is really nice. We'll do a review of the suite. I think it's just because the ship's only half full. I think a lot of people probably got upgraded in the process, be my guess. Yeah, and last night at the, the briefing, uh, one of the expedition guides announced that if anybody wanted to upgrade to a suite, go see the the front desk because they've got lots of suites available. And I've never heard that before. <laughs> yeah, we don't know if those are complimentary or oh, if no, people had no. to pay for it, but I don't know how we got one. So. I'm sure, yeah. We were pretty busy once we got on board the ship. There was a lot going on. We, we Our bags came on the buses with us and they did bring them to our stateroom. So once we put the luggage outside of the hotel and we identified it in the lobby of the hotel, they took care of everything else till it got to the stateroom. And they got here pretty quick. And we started unpacking and we didn't even get unpacked before we <laughs> we had to, to leave to go to briefings. We had the muster, drill. the muster drill. And then we had another briefing where they introduced the expedition team. And, oh, and they also greeted us when we got on board with a glass of champagne. I should mention that. We went to the briefing. We got our, they take your passports and they hold the passports 
while you're on board the ship. They take your picture and get a credit card if they don't already have a credit card. And we would stand in a little line for a few minutes. After that, then they did this briefing where they talked about the expedition team. I don't know her title. I don't know. She's the expedition leader. She's the expedition leader. She looked very familiar and the name was familiar. And turns out we sailed with her a couple of times. It's probably been about 10 years ago. Uh, <laughs> she used to be with Silver Sea. And we had sailed with her, and I think it was the Australian New Zealand cruise we did with Silver Sea. And we went up and reintroduced ourselves to her, and of course she pretended that she remembered us, <laughs> but I doubt that she did. She's very nice. After the briefing, what did we do? No, we had to get a snorkeling briefing too, and a Zodiac oh, that's, briefing. That's right. And yeah, if you want to snorkel, you they give you snorkeling equipment to use while you're on board, and um, they give you a briefing on how to how to use it. I guess the signals if you're in trouble or if you need help, and kind of general overall safety for snorkeling. Scared me. Not sure I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and also a briefing on you know how to zodiac you know because they use Zodiacs here for everything because there's wet landings and some of them are dry, but where you get off on a jetty or a dock, but a lot of them are wet. Like today, we did a wet landing. We did an excursion this morning. Yeah. I did not bring water socks. I should have, and I didn't. Told him to. Yeah, she did. She warned me. So I had to take my shoes off, put them in the back. They do give you waterproof backpacks. There are yeah. these really nice big uh, backpacks that have water metal water bottles, and then you fill the water bottles up at base camp, which base camp is a lower it's deck. De three. It's deck three. It's the lowest deck, and it's where you board the Zodiacs. And they also have lockers, and we left our life vests down there in our locker. Every stateroom has its own locker. But the boarding of the Zodiac is pretty good. I think we had eight or 10 people on our first Zodiac, maybe 10 on the way back. Very good. They also did another little safety briefing once the Zodiac pulled away from the boat or from the ship. Uh, they did another little safety briefing on board the Zodiac, you know, just to make sure you don't fall overboard. Or if you do fall overboard, what you're supposed to do. Um, anyway, <laughs> nobody fell overboard. It was pretty uneventful. Waters were pretty smooth today. Actually, it wasn't too bad. The, the worst part is getting on the Zodiac yeah. because the swells are up and down and up and down, and you have to time it just right to step from the ship onto the pontoon, onto a box in the Zodiac, and then into the Zodiac itself. Right. but it's, There's a process, but it's easy. As long as you have, if you if you had serious mobility issues, you probably wouldn't yeah. want to do this. If you had crutches or... So after that last night, all these briefings, we yeah. went to briefings. dinner. Dinner the first night on board is buffet style. They have a buffet set up in the restaurant. And I believe after the first night, if it's like it was on Vega, after the first night, they have dinner, you know, table service or full menu service where they wait on you. And then we, I think we went to bed. Did we stay up and do anything else? No. Yeah, well, I think I think that was it for us. We were tired. We were pretty tired. The bus, bus ride kind of takes it out of you. And we came back to the suite, finished unpacking, got everything unpacked, and there's plenty of storage in this stateroom. Like I said, we'll, we'll do a, a suite review or a stateroom review. I did get set up on Wi-Fi. Uh, they have three different levels of Wi-Fi based on speed and what you pay for it. I got the Platinum plan, which is the fastest, and it's been okay. Other than that, that's about all we have to report right now. As time goes on, maybe every couple of days, we'll update you with some more stuff. Is there anything else? Well, we had a great jungle walk today. Yeah, we did. We saw monkeys, howler monkeys and capuchin monkeys, and we saw some members of the rec 
raccoon family, but not raccoons. And it was a weird look. It had like a long yeah. snout. Almost looked like a little miniature anteater. Oh, yeah. And so we were really strung out on the trail, and the guide was at the front. And if you were near the back, you had no idea what he was talking about or what he was saying. But And we did not have... Yeah, there was no quiet vox. There were no quiet vox transmitters, yeah. receivers, so you had to be near the guide to hear what was going on. Uh, I always stay way behind because I'm trying to shoot video or photos. Yeah, and I want to hear what he's saying. I don't want to miss anything like the name of a tree or <laughs> what, well, I what kind know. of poops in the middle of the road. Yeah, I, I know I'm going to forget it. 10 minutes after I leave. So. It's a beautiful walk and it was shaded, humid, but Costa Rica is a humid place. It was, what, two miles? Two, yeah, two, two or two and a half two miles. And a half miles. Yeah, it was a good walk. Level level ground, but, but jungle ground. I mean, you had to watch for tree roots and rocks and holes and things like that, but it was it was very doable. You know, it was I'm glad I went. And you have to wear obviously sunscreen, even though it was pretty shaded and mosquito repellent. So you, Yeah, but the ship they do provide that. Yeah, they provide the bug spray. So that was nice. So that was pretty much it for yeah. our first day and we just had uh And it's our second day too. I guess it is our second day, yeah. Uh, Costa Rica is a, a very beautiful destination. We're not going to see anything city-wise. It's going to be all go to islands, go to beaches, go to the jungle. We'll see Panama City. Snorkel, um, go do the beach. So it's going to—it's an expedition. Yeah. yeah. Panama City. Panama City. In Cartagena. In Cartagena. At the, end, at the very end. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> Panama Canal, I think, is going to be a highlight for a lot of people. We've been through it a few times, a couple of times. I don't know if we've been through this direction. Have we? No, I don't think I so. I don't know if we've ever gone from the Pacific over to the Atlantic. I don't think so. Or to the Caribbean. So that might be different. Hmm. Okay, anyway, thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like. <laughs> uh, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And uh, make sure you hit the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when we come out with new videos. And we should have another video in two or three days. Do, you, do, you, do they know who I am? No. <laughs> I'm Chris. This is Ricky. Let's, let's just re, we'll reshoot an intro. <laughs> you ready for this? I never know where to look. Uh, right there. Not look at myself? No, no. Nobody wants to do that. <laughs>